waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Wow, well, it's him, and we've got him on, and I am very, very honored that he's a listener and was able to call in to the transmission. Super Bowl hijack proves government cannot protect you. Man penetrates multi-million dollar security ring with excuses and fake pass, and he is a listener, and he is on, and it is Matthew Mills, 30-year-old, now making international news. Uh, and, of course, uh, there's also videos of him online when he talked to Tom Brokaw and others asking him questions. I want to give you the floor in this segment the next to tell the whole story, why you did it, how you thought it up. And, I mean, the, if people start doing what you've done if, uh, across the board on Obamacare, on gun control, on stage terror, it's over. So, uh, Matthew Mills, start from the beginning here with a big exclusive interview. The man who took over the Super Bowl uh, MVP press conference. Go ahead. Well, I, I definitely didn't uh, try. To, I, I, didn't, I definitely didn't think up this idea. I just went to the Super Bowl to go interview people outside the stadium about. Well, I was going to ask people about the Illuminati symbolism in the last two Super Bowl uh, halftime shows. That's what I went there for, just to interview other people. But when I got there, uh, um, I had to. I had to make up the story even to get to the Super Bowl by saying I was an employee because they wouldn't let people without tickets there. So I had to say that. And then um, I, I tried to get a little further, and I just kept on using that same uh, excuse, and, and I was really surprised I got in. And that's pretty much it. I, I spent the whole time. I was, I was in the stadium since about 1.30 in the afternoon just hanging out and watched the game, and I was going to – I was planning on actually running down on the field and uh, during, during the celebration after the game and grabbing one of their mics. But then I saw um, – the press box and I went in there and I just stayed in there and I was in there from the end of the third quarter until, uh, when, uh, you saw me, uh, grab the mic. Keep going. Uh, uh, sorry. No, no. I mean, if I start talking, I'm going to run over you. Go. No, no, no. I mean, that's pretty much it. I, 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 I used my press pass and said I was late for work through each gate. It was like four gates. Uh, fifth, fifth one for the for the press box or the press room, and and that was pretty much it. It wasn't really that hard. I mean, I just pretty much acted like I was late for work, and I had to get in, and that's pretty much it. Oh no, it must be staged. No one can infiltrate anything. Alex didn't sneak into Bohemian Grove. They let him in. No one can do anything. No, the truth is, we can all do something. And I started infiltrating press conferences and speeches and events under Clinton over Waco and Oklahoma City. And then We Are Change, finally somebody started imitating it, and they've done a great job, and you were part of that, now you're doing it on your own. And I just think what you're doing is so wonderful, my friend, and, and is just so incredibly exciting uh, that, that you've done this. So I want to go to break in the long segment, and then after you leave us at 20 after, I promise I'll go to Peggy and Eric and Tony and Dean, everybody that's holding, but... I want to describe once you did it, play by play, how they grabbed you, what they did, what they said to you, how they held you, what the citation or summons says that you were given. I want to blow by blow break all this down with you uh, on the other side. But are you invigorated now that it's it's drawing so much attention to the inside job? Yeah, well, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm glad that it. It looked a lot better than I thought it looked. I didn't even remember doing it. So once I looked this, I didn't even see the video till about really like an hour and a half, or like two hours ago. I only sort of saw it. So, so you just really got out. So like. so so you got in the zone. I mean, what happened? You just you just you were just planning on trying to bring up real issues, and you just you just got in there and got on the employee bus, and boom. I got in there, and I wanted to just ask uh, Super Bowl goers about the Illuminati rituals in the last two Super Bowls. That's the only reason I went there. To add, to, I was making a video about the, the uh, satanic rituals for the past two Super Let's Bowls. Let's talk about that when we come back, too. Yeah, Bruno Mars did the whole thing again. All of it. It's all sex rituals with, uh, with satanic lyrics with little kids up there inducting children into it in front of everyone. 
<laughs> they think the public's so stupid. We'll be right back with the man who's taking the info war to the enemy straight ahead. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We're going back to our amazing guest who infiltrated the Super Bowl post-game MVP press conference with 9-11's An Inside Job, orchestrated by criminal elements of the government. In just a moment for the exclusive debriefing, first interview other than one newspaper interview since he got out of jail. In a moment... But first off, up on PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com, breaking a new Mark Dice video. Democratic Californian students, you can guarantee that, students signed petition to have gun owners executed in concentration camps. He talks to people that speak clear English, uh, understand everything he's saying, and one after the other says, we want to execute gun owners in camps. And they, they will execute us in camps. If an authority figure tells him to. Uh, another one, racist black thugs beat up white hippies in Austin in front of the police station. Where is Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and Oprah Winfrey? That story uh, is uh, up there right now. If it, we should probably just have a subheadline pointing out it was in front of the police station. And the article points out the trend of this, of this happening. Simply amazing. Uh, also, weird but true, Netflix... Skype Kindle, predicted in 1965. That's a Paul Joseph Watson article. Super Bowl Sunday shows us there's no Al-Qaeda threat. No, the threat's the government power grabbing. Well, there is an Al-Qaeda threat overseas. Our government runs it. Super Bowl uh, hijack proves government cannot protect you. That's the, what we're about to cover right now. Video, 
uh, recorded, uh, deleted files with NSA backup. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and decadence. Seahawks fans run riot after Super Bowl victory. Americans only get excited about sports and Black Friday sales. Uh, and again, Bruto Mars, Illuminati halftime show decoded. Uh, that's another video up on Infowars.com right now. Now, the story is up on the site. Super Bowl uh, hijack proves government cannot protect you. I think that's a big issue here to show it's all theater. They don't even let cars get near it. You have to go on trains. Uh, you get frisked over and over again. There's cops strutting around with submachine guns, bugging their eyes out at you in New Jersey where they're trying to disarm the public. It's ridiculous. And then 30-year-old Matthew Mills, tell us about yourself and the other uh, citizen journalism you've done, asking real questions of Tom Brokaw and so many others over the years. I thought I recognized you when I saw this. I was up here at uh, 2 in the morning, and I kept seeing on Infowars.com comments saying, man, did you see the guy that took over the Super Bowl with Inside Job, 9-11? And so I went and searched that on um, YouTube, and there it was. And I shot a video at 2 a.m. when I got off uh, two hours of radio and put it up. Uh, and then I said, I bet that guy's a listener. And then this morning we discovered that you had made web posts and stuff talking about the show before and had done stuff with We Are Changed. So we salute the work you're doing. It's amazing. Tell us about some of your other confrontations, what you've done, and then play by play. Describe what went on in your mind, what happened, what what they did to you when they held you, uh, what the ticket says. Because you know, the media is going to want this uh, testimony here. And it's important you give it so they can't spin it and lie about you. So, so uh, Matthew Mills, break it down for us. Well, if anyone wants to see my other confrontations and other journalistic work, uh, they should see my YouTube channel, which is Mills Most. Uh, I'm going to be releasing uh, Super Bowl footage on Mills Most. Uh, they, they deleted all my footage off the SD, ca SD card, but I have someone coming to the house right now to restore it, apparently. So hopefully he can do that. And if, you, if, if we can restore that footage, I'm going to uh, release a bunch of stuff because I had the camera on the whole time when I, got, when, you know, when I walked away from the mic. And uh, so I got all that, what they were saying to me. So, I, we, you know, hopefully we don't, I don't even need to describe to you what they said. I'll, I'll have it on, on footage. Um, so, and what were the other questions? Uh, no, just oh, break it all down. I mean, t tell us what you intended to do, what unfolded. First off, tell us about some of the other people that you've gone and, and asked real questions of. Once I actually got into the Super Bowl, I, I, I plans changed and I... I I decided to, uh, I was going to, you know, do something like that, and I was going to run down on the field and do something. But then I decided to go to the press room. And, and, and as far as the summons, it doesn't say amount on here. I don't know what I owe. It says a court appearance is not required. So it doesn't seem like it's really that And bad. what are they claiming you did? It's criminal trespassing, and I'm banned from the Meadowlands for life, and apparently I'm banned from the NFL for life. Uh, and the NFL is going to be getting in contact with me about some security issues maybe. Um, yeah, so, they're just going to try uh, to use that data in case they want to sue you. I wouldn't talk to them to get a lawyer. And I would, you know, they say no court appearance needed. Well, that's because they don't want you to challenge it. Go challenge uh, the trespass and just say that, you know, you, the truth. You wandered in there wanting to ask real questions. That a citizen journalist, they let you in. And uh, there's, you know, they, they didn't have no trespassing signs. That, that's their issue. Did you buy a ticket to get in, period? I bought no ticket. Yeah, they might use, try I, something I, I, then, but it doesn't matter. You're going to have to fight it in court. You do not want a criminal trespass. That could be a felony. They just don't want you to know that. So I, I would get counsel. Okay. I will. And, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's that. And first well, of all, I mean, I describe how you got through the uh, multi-billion dollar security, because it's tens of millions they spent on this, but this is a billion-dollar fraud system they've built. I mean, describe it. I just use the uh, line of I'm late for work and I have no time to talk. And I just had that attitude. And I've, that, I got by five gates with the same thing. Which is true. You're, you're the, doing the work of the Lord, free speech, yeah. asking real questions. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I got in and it was cool because, you know, I got to see the Super Bowl, which, I, you know, it's, I got to see Peyton Manning. He's kind of a cool guy. And so that was fun, and that, so I spent the time in there, and I, I asked people all day. Oh, so you met Peyton time. Manning? No, I didn't meet Peyton Manning. The whole time I was in there, I was asking people about the Illuminati symbolism with the last few Super Bowls. But they erased all that footage, so I need to get all that footage back. That's all I was doing. And then, and then you know, the opportunity arose where I got to go in the press room, and then the MVP came out, and I was right there. So I said, F it. 